But you're always writing new stuff. You always have new material. I don't write. You don't write. I don't. I, I just do it on stage. It okay. doesn't work for me. You're, and I'm lazy. That's you're you're always <laughs> Bill Burr is one of comedy's most prolific writers, and he's too lazy to write jokes? I'm going to share with you Bill Burr's top three favorite writing techniques and see how many times they work on making my dog laugh. He's thrilled. I've been a comedian 12 years and interviewed over 400 comedians on this channel, and everyone has a different writing process. So what makes Bill Burr so special? He doesn't write, he riffs. So when you say you don't write, uh, but you must like make notes to yourself if you think of something. Oh no, if I, if I think of something, I, it's, uh, I just grab whatever I can write on and I'll just write down bear slash circus. And then I do that and then I just go up and I, uh, and I just tell the story. Yeah. So I just act like, you know, like you're just going to go meet your friends at a bar. You just start shooting the shit with them. So it's it stops being like, hey, have you seen these gorillas yeah. doing sign language? <laughs> well, what, what, you know, what's up with that? Riffing is a style of writing that makes anyone think they can do comedy. But just like anything else, you have to learn the rules before you break them. And Bill Burr has honed this style over decades on stage. So real quick for my comedy nerds, what is a joke? At a formulaic level, a joke is a setup and a punchline. The setup is setting up the audience to think in one direction, and the punchline creates a surprising second direction, or a misdirect. And it's this surprise that triggers the laughter. So in Bill Burr's case, one of his favorite ways to create that surprise is the technique of analogy, or comparison, if you don't have a liberal arts degree like me. After hearing on Oprah that mothers have the hardest jobs in the world, Bill uses the analogy technique to compare motherhood to some of the world's hardest jobs. Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's a mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> what makes Bill Burr one of the best is he hits a topic from every angle. Most comics would leave it at two analogies, but he doubles down to drive the point home. Another one of Bill Burr's favorite techniques are act outs. Act out. It's when he acts out the joke. Come on, dog. What makes Bill Burr so special is not just how he tells a joke, but how he shows a joke. Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet. Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. <laughs> You wanna do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. If you're enjoying this video so far, hit that subscribe button to get access to 400 plus comedy interviews and our three weekly live streams. And now Bill Burr's third and final favorite writing technique. Double entendre. In this clip, he takes the word rescue and runs with it. Most people hear rescue dog and assume a heartwarming adoption, but not Bill Burr. I got a dog recently. I did, I went down to the pound, I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious, it's complete exaggeration. She's a rescue, yeah, I rescued her. Really, did you pull her out of a burning building? Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? <laughs> Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound that they're just giving them away? They don't even do a background check. You want them? Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. Bill Burr's brilliance is in not taking any information at face value. What most people hear and take for granted, Bill Burr finds a funny twist and just hammers the humor home, which is what makes him one of the greats. This episode was inspired by comedian Yoshi So after seeing our interview with the joke doctor talking about Bill Burr. Comment below with comics you want to hear us break down on this show and subscribe to check out our 400 plus comedy interviews. Subscribe so my wife doesn't make me get a real job.